Carol, welcome to the studio. Thank what you. have you got for us this week? Well, it's a new publication of short stories called Two Girls in a Boat by a young Wellington writer called Emma Martin. It's her debut collection. But the title story, Two Girls in a Boat, won recently the Commonwealth Short Story Prize. So Emma Martin, from being completely unknown, has suddenly shot to notice. Um, people are aware of her. The book has got a bold, bright cover, and people are saying, aha, and the book is starting to sell. I've just completed reading the whole book. Now, I, I read fiction, like short, um, sorry, not normally short stories. I read novels. I prefer yeah. novels. I went from story to story to story in this. They are fantastic. They're very human. They're, she has a great understanding of the subtleties of human relationships. And I think one of the reasons that they're so successful is that she leaves a lot out. She doesn't spell everything out for you. She just has a character do something and you understand all sorts of things from the implications of that one action. So she assumes her reader is intelligent mm -hmm. and doesn't spell it all out. It, it, they're brilliant. The first one is about um, the two girls in a boat, are actually um, two girls, two young women in a relationship in London. And they, there's a sort of a trick thing happens where they play a game and end up going to, to gallery exhibitions and all sorts of important events in London using someone else's name because they get a, an invitation in, in the wrong name originally and they start using it and yeah. then they finally meet up with the real person. And one of the, the main character in the story has ended up coming back to New Zealand because this relationship is broken up and it's just looking at how she's feeling and, and what is going on for her back in New Zealand. Beautifully done, quite sad, very subtle. Um, the second one really, um, oh, I, it had a huge impact on me. It starts with a girl in a playground, a, young, a teenage girl in a playground, mm -hmm. and she's been told to go to the playground <coughs> and stay out of the house because the woman in the house is having her photograph taken. She's a famous musician and she's going to be in a magazine feature and they're doing the photo yeah. shoot. And this girl's not allowed to be in the house. And you think, why not? And you gradually realize that this young woman is pregnant. And as the story proceeds, you gradually realize that this kind woman has taken her in. But the kind woman is not actually anywhere near as kind, kind as you may initially yeah. appear. And the, it's just, Oh, so understated, and yet the plight of this, this teenage girl is so heart-wrenching, but a lot of it is it's not spelled out. You just know, you feel for her, you understand what's going on, and you as a reader um, just get the implications. Takes you so, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, fantastic stories, all sorts of different ones. One about a girl hitchhiking where you, in, in Croatia, where you actually think she's in danger. You think, oh my God. You know, don't do it, and you assume that the man is, who picks her up is going to be, you know, you assume yeah, she's yeah, vulnerable, yeah, but in fact happen, it does yeah. it, what turns out is not what you expect at all. Mm. Very clever, very, very astute perceptions about, about human behaviour and interactions, and beautifully written. I think she has an amazing future. I think, I hope she's going to write yeah. a novel. I wonder what else she'll write. Is it a Kiwi book in the sense Yes that and no. I mean, yes. it's, there are stories set in London and Croatia and so on, but mm. yes, a lot of it is set in New Zealand. It's very, very much a New Zealand setting. But um, I think they're very, because a lot of the stuff about the relationships is very universal, they, they would sell overseas as well, very well, I think. It's been published by Victoria University Press, so it's yeah. very much a New Zealand book. But yeah. I think she does have, um, you know, I think it could sell overseas. She has an overseas market as well, yeah. an international market, yeah. Um, is there a linking theme with the stories at all? Or no, they, not, not particularly, all. only yeah. that they're about very human experiences. Um, there's um, a story about an abortion. There's a story about, um, you know, the, the girl hitchhiking. There's a story about a broken relationship. There's a story about a teenage pregnancy. They're very much um, stories relating to women and um, some of the situations they get themselves into. Carol, but thank wonderful, you. Wonderful, wonderful. Carol, thank you very much indeed. We look forward to reading it.